Bonjour, Year 8. I hope you're all well. Welcome to this week's French lesson. It follows on from your first lesson of the new term, and um, you will have remembered that we started a new topic, which is la télévision. So we're going to be building on the work that you did last week. Just to talk you through our learning journey, we will be learning to name different television genres in French and talk about our viewing habits. We're going to recognize cognates with TV genres in French. Just a reminder about a cognate, that's a word that's the same in English and in French. And then we're going to extend sentences on this topic by applying knowledge from previous topics and lessons. So all the things that you learned to talk about sports and music in more detail can be adapted and used to talk about television. So the equipment you're going to need um, is listed on the left. We've got Petit Tableau Blanc. If you don't have a mini whiteboard, that's fine. You can still do the work just in your exercise book. Un stylo, un cahier. So you're going to write everything in your exercise book, please. And finally, une règle. So let's keep our work looking nice and neat. So let's get started. Numéro 1, écrivez la date. Numéro 2, copiez le titre, la télévision. Numéro 3, soulignez avec une règle. So just like a regular lesson, let's get our work nice and organized. OK, pour commencer, complétez les phrases. This starter is based on work that you were given last week. Hopefully you all access the class charts work. There was a quizlet and also a worksheet that included lots of useful phrases and vocabulary about our new topic of television. So you can look back to that work you did to help you with this starter. As you can see, there are words on the right, which you need to select to complete the sentences on the left. I've done the first one for you. Numéro un, je regarde la météo. Um, numéro deux, you have to decide which word on the right would best complete that sentence. You can see that the work is color coded in the usual way. If you can get onto the mastered section at the end, this is for you to write two sentences of your own based on last week's worksheet. So can you adapt any of the phrases that you learned then to talk about your viewing habits? So this should take you between two to three minutes as it says on the screen. Okay, moving on. Associer les photos avec les phrases. Écoutez et répétez. To help you learn these words, a picture will appear next to each vocabulary section. What I'd also like you to do on this slide, though, is listen to me saying the different TV genres and have a go at repeating so to practice your own pronunciation. Here we go. Écoutez et répétez. Les émissions de la cuisine. Les émissions musicales. Les émissions de sport. La télé-réalité. Les jeux télévisés. Les feuilletons. La météo. Les documentaires. Les dessins animés. Les séries policières. Les sitcoms. Les informations, which can be shortened to les infos. Okay, so now that you've had a chance to listen to the vocabulary and say it for yourselves, let's have a look at it in a little more detail. Hopefully you are remembering some of this vocabulary from your lesson last week. But right now, this is a chance for you to actually record the vocabulary for yourselves. So in a moment, you're going to need to write all of this vocabulary down. But let's have a look at it because this lesson, we're also looking for cognates and near cognates. So a near cognate is when the word is really similar um, in English to what it is in French, to the meaning in French. 
and you'll see on the screen that we've got lots of cognates and near cognates there for you. For example, the first one, Les Emissions de la Cuisine. Before I reveal the English, I'm sure that you could remember that this is cooking shows based on the word cuisine, because of course we use that word in English to talk about cooking. Similarly, for Les Emissions Musicales, that would be a near cognate. Les Emissions de Sport, sport is a cognate for us. So what I would like you to do, please, is copy down the French vocabulary and also copy down the English translation so you've got some nice, neat columns in your exercise books. So here's all the vocabulary. This should take you around five minutes, so to copy and complete. What you could also do is go on to the additional column where you can record an example show. So to help reinforce your learning, to help you remember the vocabulary, it's a good idea to associate the words with a particular TV show. So if you've finished within five minutes or you'd like to just use another tool to help you learn this vocabulary, then please go ahead and write down an example TV show for each of these options. Okay, so five minutes to get the vocabulary down. Now we're going to progress to talking about our own viewing habits, talking about what we watch and don't watch and what we like to watch and don't like to watch. So as you can see on the board, the instruction here will be copier. You're going to need to write down some nice clear examples for yourselves. Let's have a look. We start with a question. Tu regardes les dessins animés? Do you watch cartoons? Oui, je regarde les dessins animés. Non, je ne regarde pas les dessins animés. Tu aimes les informations? Do you like the news? Oui, j'aime les informations. Non, je n'aime pas les informations. I'd like you to copy these examples down so you've got a positive and a negative response for both of these questions. Now, to extend our work, this is where the third lesson objective is coming in today. How can you further extend these answers? So I want you to write down ideas for how you could make these answers more complex, more interesting. Trois minutes. So you're going to take three minutes to copy and then as the extra challenge, extend those answers with a bit more information. Okay, then let's have a look at how you could extend your answers. So just a reminder of our objectives, we're trying to draw on things that we learn when talking about other topics, so sports, talking about music, and then applying that language to talk about our new topic of TV. So you could include opinions and reasons. Here's one in, on the screen for you, car c'est nul. You know that expression already, and now you can apply it to talk about TV. Time markers, so time expressions or adverbs of frequency to say when you watch something or how often you watch something. You could use connectives to give additional information. Here's an example on the screen for you of using what you already know, a connective, and now applying it to talk about TV. And finally, there are opportunities to include a different tense in your answers too. Here's one on the screen using the future tense. Okay, year eight. So we've come to the end of the PowerPoint, but the lesson continues on class charts. So please go back to the instructions on class charts and you will see a link to step two, which is the worksheet. That's a reading task and a writing task on our topic. And you're going to wrap things up in a Kahoot quiz. Now, when it comes to submitting work, I'd like you to do the following, please. Um, a screenshot or a photo of the starter from the PowerPoint. So if you did that on a mini whiteboard or in your book, just take a photo of that, please, and upload it for your French teacher. Your vocabulary list, so that's the 
French and English. And for some of you also, that's going to include an example TV show. So please upload a picture of that. Your worksheet answers. So if you did them in your class books, then just take a photo, please, and upload that. And then finally, a screenshot of your Kahoot score. Thank you very much, Year 8, and see you next week.